I consider myself a visual anthropologist. I've been cataloging my experiences as a Caribbean American. The work reflects this history of invisible blackness, passing, um, my relationship to being on the periphery. I think about the ideas of a history when I work, like the early explorers that went to Jamaica and cataloged the plant life and the fauna and sort of created this idea of otherness. I want to experience that in visual language that I can kind of dissect and then reclaim. In terms of female expose, I break down all the body parts that are of desire, male desire. You'll see lips, you'll see breasts, you'll see uh, very thick thighs with what appears to be legs that have deformed into stiletto heels. And those, those sort of formations have resulted in this muse, strange fruit. And for the past, I would say over a decade, I've been working with this muse uh, and, ha and playing with her in different iterations. How abstraction plays in my work is fundamental. It sort of, it's becoming more about storytelling and about architecture of place and history. The black and white stripe signifies uh, my hybridity, but also thinking about the black and white stripe as a codifier that references animals, incarceration, flags, borders, trickery, uh, and everything we buy has a barcode on it. I was thinking about tiles uh, on the veranda of my grandmother's porch in Jamaica. The need to work with tiles allow is allowing me to think about imperialism and reasserting myself and reclaiming myself by sort of not using the tile designs that were traditional, but inserting the stripes that represent my hybridity and myself and putting it into that, into that uh, history. I really love to kind of push and pull and allow the material to dictate sometimes what the work's gonna look like. In recent years, I've been working with water-based paints and inks, um, primarily gouache and India ink, and really kind of playing, again, with this limited palette. A lot of my large-scale pours are done uh, in the studio and will take maybe a week or so because I'll continue to add more material to it. In the past, my work's been very illustrative, and I really want to break that down into the, the same color palette, but just more organic. I'm just sort of going through this new chapter. It's good to take risks and to sort of sit back and have that time to redefine, and then also find those links between visual mark making and the new marks you're making. And um, so it's been wonderful.